Hey, LDBC. Okay, before I talk about this Donald Duck looking ass piece of shit, right, excuse me, piece of ish right here, I'm gonna read a scripture. Okay? You can skip past this part to get to the video, but this scripture is gonna apply to what I'm talking about in the video. And the Bible says this Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, and they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek thee and shall not find thee, even them that contended with thee, and they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing or not. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold your right hand saying unto thee I will help you and as I pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee and if you walk through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flames kindle upon thee find the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel that's a common scripture that I read I read it a lot I read it a lot and God talks about fear. But this is not going to turn into a, a, a biblical message. Okay, it's not going to turn into a biblical video. I brought this up because I want you to look at this piece of shit on the screen. I want you to look at it. Okay, I want you to look at this this this, this person that, that, that sent a, a message out to her former a ball mate, teammate, and said, listen, I don't want to be here anymore. You know, I want to die. I don't want to be here anymore. Let me tell you something about these people that shoot up schools. The common denominator with all these people that shoot these schools up, they all have something in common. Number one, these people were bullied. Number two, these people were looked at as different and outcasts. And number three, these people had an immense amount of fear. These people didn't know how to deal with fear. They didn't understand how to deal with fear. And the fear consumed them. The fear controlled them. They didn't understand how to deal with fear. They didn't get it. And, and that's the basis of this, this video why I started off with a scripture. These people were cowards. And I'm going to tell you how and why these people are cowards. You see, every single person that shoots up a school, they have the same mentality. It's the same person. Whether it's female, whether it's male, it don't matter. A school shooter has the same mentality. Got the exact same mentality. Okay, they think the same. They are the same. It's the same person, different body. And these people, they were heavily bullied. Okay, and, and nobody's saying that bullying people is right. But these people, they were, heavy bull they were heavily bullied throughout their lives. The bullying probably started as early as kindergarten or, or preschool when people were able to look at you and conceive a difference. The bullying started, and they've probably been bullied for most of their teenage life, I'm sure. And so these people, they go and they do the next thing. They shoot up a school. Do you wanna know why these people go and shoot schools up? I mean, do you guys really wanna know? The reason why the school shooters, they fancy towards going to school is because Teenagers, middle schoolers, elementary schoolers, they can't fight back. They can't fight back. See, they're less likely to be oppositional. They're less likely to have weapons. They can't fight back. You ever wonder why these school shooters or these people that say they don't want to live anymore so they go shoot up a school? You ever wonder why they don't go shoot up the police station? Have you ever wondered why they just won't go to the police station and start shooting? You know, none of these people really truly want to do that because they know that the police are going to fight back. You see, every single solitary school shooter is a coward. Deep down inside, they're a coward. Inside. See, they'll never tell you that they're scared, but they're scared. The basis of a school shooting is fear. It's fear. Who do you retaliate against? So you go retaliate against many times the person that bullied you, but then you take people out with you. See, this person right here talking about she wanted to die. Well, you know what? If this piece of sh wanted to die, then she should have just died. 
Why did she have to go and take people with her? Because it wasn't about her death. It was about her leaving a lasting legacy. It was about this piece of ish, Audrey Hill, leaving a legacy. Because she wants people to remember her. She wants people to remember her name. Because what she was doing now, nobody really gave a fuck about this person. Nobody cared about her. Nobody really truly cared about this person. They didn't. Nobody thought about Audrey Hill. Nobody cared. But so Audrey Hill wanted something that she could never have. As a bullet person, nah, you know, you're not gonna get any notoriety. Audrey Hill wanted to be infamous. And how do you do that? You kill a bunch of people. That's what you do. So she decided, because she was such a brave person, to go into a school and shoot up a school full of kids. Shot up three kids, three adults. The first person she shot was with some uh, some brother. The 61-year-old brother was doing his job. She shot him in the face. Then the school headmaster came down to see what the problem was. She shot the headmaster, and then she shot another teacher, killing them instantly. Then she saw some kids. And you know, the way she the way she was looking in the hall, with that smug look. Very, very smug look, just smug. Like, yeah, I'm finna be famous today. I'm finna be famous today. And then she shot those three kids up. Coward. You shoot up a school, you shoot up kids because kids, they're not gonna be able to defend themselves. Moreover, more than likely. But have y'all noticed every single solitary time that there's a school shooting? In my mind, I always ask, where in the hell is, is the school resource officer? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where, where is this person? Because most schools have a resource officer. Where the hell is he at? Because if I'm sending my kid to, to a public school, I'm thinking, you know what? The school resource officer uh, better engage. The school resource officer better engage. But moreover, these guys are never around. Isn't that something? These guys are never around. They don't appear to ever be around. Damn shame. The school resource officer never seems to be around. And I start wondering, like, what the heck? Like, what? What's going on? You got somebody here shooting up your school and the resource officer don't, don't even deploy himself? Don't even get down to the threat and try to take out the threat? But some of these cops, they be scared. A lot of these cops, they cowards too. A lot of them, they are terrified. See, they wear that uniform hoping that they never have to deal with a conflict. But I got to salute the cops that came to the scene. They didn't wait. They went right in and they shot him. And hell, the one cop took an extra shot at it. Took two or three. Good. Good. Sent this hoe right to hell. The thing of it is, y'all is that these people that, that do these school shootings, these are all cowards. These are all cowards and these people, they can't, their voices can never be heard. Their voices can't be heard, so they gotta speak loudly with guns. They gotta go out and do this. And this is why. See, I'm gonna tell you what they need to start doing. They need to start taking these people alive and then they need to start torturing them. See, if, you, if, it's, if it's possible to take the person alive and you torture a person, torture them, and you send out a message to anybody. As a matter of fact, anybody who talking about they got guns and anybody who make a hoax talking about they're going to shoot up a school, that person need to be making an example out of. You get you you start them out 30 years minimum. Even just to play around and say, oh, I was just joking. I was messing around. Oh, okay, good. Well, you got 30 years in jail for messing around. These people need to be dealt with. These school shooters and these people that are that are even looking to do it. Even if somebody report the person, they need to investigate it heavily to determine that there's no threat. And the people are making these accusations and joking and playing with this kind of stuff. Look, man, they need to go to jail instantly. No questions asked. Got to get back to doing some capital punishment around here, man. It, it, it's crazy. It's like people can do whatever the hell they want to do. People can do whatever the hell they want to do. Did y'all? Uh, and I think I read something about one of the school shooters uh, from back in the day, looking to be paroled. I, 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 are you serious? I had to go back and find out which one, but one of them, like, just looking to be paroled. 
you're going to entertain actually letting this asshole go right back into society some 20 years ago after he decided to go shoot up a school. I tell you, man, I don't know what's going on, but damn, this is a certain kind of evil that's heading our government in the country. It's a certain kind of evil, man. And it seemed like the damn criminals, man, they just, they getting, they getting passes. They getting a lot of passes to do just, I mean, stuff. It's like, you can go be a criminal now. And then when you're in jail, you can go get an education. Hell, they upgrading the food now. They upgrading the damn food. You can get an education. You got free room and board. I mean, hell. <laughs> it seems like most people want to go to jail now. And stay in jail. And, and, you know, I mean, because when you get out, you can have a damn college degree. You can have a high school diploma in jail. Like, why is it? You know, being you know, being out of jail. Being out of jail, you seem like you ain't got no, no benefits to do anything. If you ain't really got nothing. But I tell you what, though. I tell you what. This girl parents, they need to be investigated. See, here go the thing. I don't care what a parent tell you. A parent can try to play like they're a victim. Like they, they know their kids. Parents know their kids. Parents know their kids. They know that this girl was having all kind of mental issues. They know. They know. If anybody know anything about their kids, it's the parents. Don't let a lot of these parents try to fool y'all. These parents, they know. They know their kids are messed up in the head. They understand that their kids got problems. And they probably knew that the problem was a little bit more serious. They probably knew that the girl was talking suicide all along. Because even the mom response to her when she said she wanted to do it, kill herself, you know, you steal my daughter. Nah, nah, you go pick up your kid and you go get him some damn help. That's what you do. You go commit they ass. Nah, these parents, they don't ever want to think their kid got a problem. Parents don't never think their kids got a problem until the problem presents themselves presents itself in front of them. These damn parents, they never think their kids got any damn problems. They don't believe it. And then when people are telling them, hey, your kid got a problem, these parents don't want to believe it. When you tell them, hey, your kid running around here bullying people, well, no, you know, my kid the victim. Everybody kid is the victim nowadays. Everybody kid is the victim. Except the kid who are actually being victimized. <laughs> Everybody kid the victim. And, and of course, the kid who doing the victimizing, they the ones that got the most laws to protect them. But this girl right here was bullied, and so she wanted to assert her dominance. I mean, she wanted to walk around. Y'all see how, 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 how she was walking around the school like she was a damn god. Smug and proud, like, I got life and death in my hands right here. I can choose to save a life or I can take a life. Started irrational. If I was them cops, man, I would have I would have unloaded a clip in them. I would have unloaded a clip in this piece of shit. I would have unloaded a clip. I would have hey, hand me your gun. Hand me your gun. I would have unloaded a damn clip in her ass. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a shame, man. It's a shame that you have people who are physically healthy, but they're mentally sick. And, and, you know, it's 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 crazy. Like, you just want to throw away life because you don't value any life because you're a coward. Because you're a coward. And and I blame part of the generation, too. I blame I blame sort of the rules. I blame some of the laws. I blame some of this stuff. Because, here go the thing, y'all. A kid, if they're getting bullied or picked on, they can't even defend themselves anyway. They can't do anything. They have to sit there and they got to keep taking it. And then if they try to retaliate, well, guess what? They get scared, they get suspended from school. I always ask a kid the question. I go, if somebody walk up to you and hit you in school, what you gonna do? And there's some kids that say, well, I wanna ask them why. And I sit here and I tell certain kids, you don't have time to ask them why. You don't have that kind of time. You, you, you own a different kind of time schedule. If somebody's hitting you, okay, if somebody put hands on you and they wanna beat your ass, you, you don't have time to ask them why. Ask him why for what? You can't ask him why. <laughs> they trying to beat you up. I mean, but no, th this is the mentality of children today. Like, nobody wants a confrontation. Like, uh, you know, these kids, I mean, we was kids, man, we had confrontation all the time. <laughs> we had confrontation, and if you didn't deal with the confrontation, you got beat up. That's what happened. You had to engage these people. 
You had to engage all these people. You had to engage these bullies as kids. You had to engage them. And you had to let them know that this is what it is. But see, now, now, you know, now, hey, these kids take it, and then they start plotting. Because when a kid lose all sense of reality, when they got to plot and deal with these bullies, it's all best off. Now, they just thinking about murder. They thinking about killing because they can't escape the hell. They got to go to school every day and deal with the same person. And you tell administration, ain't nobody doing that. You tell your parents, they can't really protect you. What else do you do? What else do you do? Ain't a damn thing you can do. Got to take it. So guess what they do? They got murder on their mind. That's it. They want to murder. But I don't want this piece of shit to rest in peace. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. Nope, not on your life.